You may recognize this space, but if you're just tuning in, we are filming today at Monroe Furniture Center. Oh my gosh. It's so cool big. Spot. Mm -hmm. You bet. It never ends. We're sitting mm -hmm. in a fabulous living room, but later we're going to be talking mattresses. They've got it all. Right now we're going to learn a little bit more about Broadhead. I'm pleased to introduce you to Doug Pino, who is the mayor of Broadhead. Today we're talking about, though, you're the director of the Chamber of Commerce. Correct. So you're not busy at all. No, no. not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Involved, I yeah, guess. Yeah, absolutely. No, I think it's wonderful. But let's talk a little bit about Broadhead. And for viewers at home who might be planning a visit, why should they visit Broadhead? We're like a Norman Rockwell little downtown. We have a square with historic buildings. Um, we have events all through the year. Our biggest event is Covered Bridge Days, which is in August. And we have tractor pulls and um, an art festival where we have well-known artists come and wow. display their and sell their um, goods. Um, this year we're going to have the Jimmies. We're, we're stepping out of the box and we're going to have the Jimmies from the Glarus come, which is a huge band. So we're hoping that that works out for us. It's some, some new adventure, but we want everyone to show up for that. But it's always a huge event for us. And then Fire and Ice is a big event for us now. Uh, it's the first Saturday in December. And um, a man from Monroe Zoli comes and does ice sculptures. Oh, wow. And this year didn't do so good because the ice sculpture lasted about an hour because of the weather. But, <laughs> but otherwise, you know, know, and there's vendors on the square and they have fires on the square and music and so it's it's pretty fun. So. Oh nice. Yeah. Sounds, Sounds like so great. much fun. Lots of stuff going on. No doubt. Um, what would you say what else Broadhead, Broadhead has to offer? It sounds like there's a lot of things going on throughout the year. We're starting to develop a new Pearl Island recreational trail and um, it's along we have a man-made waterway that was built by hand, man-made obviously, but built by hand. And uh, we've opened this up to um, hiking and biking and um, getting out of the nature so people from the big city can come and see birds mm -hmm. and animals they've never seen before. And we got a grant um, from the DNR, but mostly it's volunteer labor that's helped clean it up. And so it's been a, become a destination um, for us. Oh, that's, that's amazing, and you really do need that. Like you said, right. you know, maybe you're in Madison and you just need a little escape. What a great way to spend the weekend. And we have Bicycle Trail now that goes from Broadhead to New Glarus. Oh, wow. um, we've opened up Decatur Township and Broadhead to ATVs, so now if we can, we're trying to get them to get mm -hmm. there from Monroe, but then that'll be another source of adventure for us. So. Awesome. It sounds like there's so much to do in Broadhead. Thanks for bringing all we of that out to light. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it went from, and I've heard of the fire and ice. It's It's got yeah. quite a nice reputation. So obviously, like you said, it's been a little warm this winter for, for sure. something like that. And you're talking about the bike trails coming in the spring. Is there any other activity specific to Broadhead or something that maybe is new that you would want people to come out and check out? Uh, the ATV thing is the ATV big thing. thing. We just we just opened up the city to that, so we're hoping to get tourists to come for that. And, yeah. And so. That's really exciting. People really love their their ATVs. Yeah, I mean, it's, it can be a bit of an days. addiction, I think, for yes. folks to get in the <laughs> big family the adventure. Yeah, exactly. So everything that's going on sounds like a lot and a lot of newness too. I want to make sure we talk a little bit about the new website. So share yeah, that with us. Uh, I've been on the directors a few different times during my lifetime, and there's new things coming all the time and of course I'm kind of technologically ignorant but we have people <laughs> people that have come now that know about the website and we're trying to get a new website going and that way we can highlight your business and another benefit to belonging to the chamber you can get a better rate to advertise on there as opposed mm -hmm. to somebody that doesn't belong to the chamber and we're hoping that works it's all new to us so I mean, we've had a website before but we're trying to get bigger and better so you no know, that's really great because you often looked at, at chamber websites they're not always really up to date and that's a great way for mm -hmm. folks to find out about how their local to support their local businesses who's out there mm -hmm. right. who's a member of the chamber mm -hmm. we always like to support those folks mm -hmm. Absolutely. We're, we're, we got a grant to do a hotel studies to see if broad is adequate for a hotel Oh, I mean, oh great. There's no point in anybody coming there if they don't have a study done first to, to know if we can even support one. So that would be exciting. We're trying to get a community center. Um, so we're trying to do a lot of different things and hopefully some of it works. Yeah. <laughs> well, it sounds like you've got a lot happening and I appreciate you sharing some of that yeah. with us today and mm -hmm. some of the folks watching as well. Uh, lots of things in Broadhead. Thank you to Doug Pinnow, who is the director of the Broadhead Chamber of Commerce. Thanks, Doug. Thank Thanks, you very Doug. much. Thank you for watching. We're going to be hanging out more in Monroe after the break. You're watching Girl Talk. We'll be right back.